Hi, I'm the Space Quest Historian, but I play other games as well, and welcome back to Kentucky Fried Zero. I uh, started the game and uh, chose continue, and it made me sit through the entire performance again. So I'm just uh, coming off that high. Uh, hang on a mo. Yeah, that was just as crappy as it was the first time. Thank you. Excellent job. Now, um, let's just see if we're not on the home stretch. I kind of have a feeling we're on the home stretch because, I mean, how are you going to top that riveting indie rock performance right there? Hello, Junebug. Well, I hoped you liked it. Kind of sad, isn't it? I've heard it before. Where's the option that says, God damn it, I'm glad there's only one song in your goddamn set. I heard it before. I don't doubt that. You look like you've spent an evening or two in a grimy old tavern. Oh, really? What part of my face did 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 shift fish up? Listen, we appreciate you folks sticking around for the show. There's nothing more wretched than playing sad songs to an empty room. Oh, I can think of a few. Like playing it to me. We've just got to get our fee from Harry, and then we'll get you headed to the, uh, zero. What's with the, uh? Well, Harry, I think that went pretty well. Good, at least one of us did. I say the crowd was into it. Reverential! Wrapped! I guess the usual fee is about right, and we'll let you get back to your, uh, business. Well, that's just the, um, uh, damn it, I was trying to tell you to, I can't pay, they cleaned me out, I got nothing left but a GDIOU from the distillery. Uh, GD stands for goddamn, and IOU stands for get the fuck out of my bar. An IOU? Yeah, I traded them some, <clears throat> I traded for them for some whiskey. <laughs> The, uh, what, what, what do you call it? The, uh, 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 unstoppably bad whiskey, the late last night whiskey, the, uh, uh, something. He, 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 he called the whiskey something awful. Um, uh, and I guess I had some surplus credit, so I got this note to get some more from them later on. Must have been a hell of a trade, says Johnny, rolling his eyes. I had to. Gotta keep this place open somehow, goddammit. Oh, now he swears. Watch your language, Harry. Uh, God damn it. <laughs> God, God damn it. Uh, yeah. Could you pay them with your IOU, or we just need to get pointed toward the zero? Yeah, please. Can we get on with this? Oh, God. What's that? You know what they're talking about? Tell you what. The You know what they're talking about? You weren't actually going to show a shit, were you, Junebug? You little blue bitch. Tell you what, you point my friends and I to the zero, and we'll call it even. You said you knew how to get there, says Shannon, clenching her fists. No, I don't believe that's exactly what I said, says Junebug, lying through her fucking teeth. It is exactly what you said, says Shannon, lightning bolt shooting from her eyes. Are you folks sure you want to head down there, says Harry, not giving a fuck. I've never been myself, but I hear... People hear things. Rumors. Okay, uh, we can either say, it's where we've got to go, or do you know another way to Dogwood Drive? No, it's where we gotta go. Let, let's get on with this. Well, I'll tell you then. Turns to Junebug and says, but this is it, right? We're square. So, uh, her payments is her actually being able to give us fucking directions. Okay, cool. Harry, you're all right, says Junebug, not knowing what the fuck just hit her. If only... You got a radio in your car? Yep, says Shannon, not having this at all. Well, here's what you gotta do. Take a left out of the parking lot and then just fiddle around on your dial until you hear something familiar. But... What, you mean like, uh, Race Against the Machine? Uh, Radiohead? Uh, uh, talk Radio? Uh, I mean, familiar, but strange. Oh, oh, Coldplay. You know the feeling? Like, uh, I used to go hunt with my uncle out in the mountains, and now I watch these nature programs with no pants on. They're filmed in the mountains, and there's the deer, and I know all the plants and every kind of tree, but something just doesn't look right. 
And it's even stranger for being so close to familiar. Something like that. You'll know it when you hear it. Okay, so we're looking for wolf calls or something. Fix that strange but familiar station on your dial, drive for a bit, and then turn around when the station cuts out. I mean, right then. Oh, good, because last time I, was, I, I went for a drive, there was this radio dial at the uh, uh, top of my uh, UI, and I was wondering, what the hell is this for? This, this kind of a nice touch, but what the hell am I doing? Now I know what it's for. Hope you folks find what you're looking for, eventually. Okay, always a pleasure, Harry. You piece of shit. Is it? <laughs> no, it isn't. Okay, of course, I immediately forgot all about that. Um, I'm sure the in-game help will tell me. Okay, so we're back on the map. We're supposed to drive. Uh, well, we're supposed to tune the radio first, according to the in-game help down here, which I just consulted while you weren't looking. Um... That's, uh, kind of bad talk radio, I guess. This station doesn't quite match that bartender's description, says Shannon. Definitely weird, though. Let's keep scanning. He said we'd know it when we hear it. Her heard it. Okay. At least Shannon is giving us pointers. What's this station? I've never heard it before. Sounds like horses. Horses running. A race? Oh, and now we get into Conway's life story again. Okay, Lisette and Ira had some horses years back. Uh, of course, um, uh, Lisette and Ira are our two employers. Charlie and I used to go races sometimes. Okay, Charlie. Charlie, he was your boss's kid, right? The one who, uh, yeah, fell off the roof. Must be some memories there. I'm sorry if that sent, if it feels cold, by the way, just to, you know, flippantly say he fell off the roof, but, well, he did! So I'm not sure why I should be broken up about it. Anyway, uh, that fits uh, familiar but strange for me. Harry said we just drive until it cuts out. Okay, so I accidentally stumbled across it. Thanks, winged beast. Um, so let's just uh, keep going. Should we go, should we go via the interstate? Or should we take one of the back roads? Or we should just wait for the screen to cut out. Let's do that. Hey, horsey. Okay, we're back in creepy country. They've all got their... No, two, two of them got their legs up like this. What's that all about? Oh. Hello. And... Everything goes to black. Oh, Jesus! The horses! Oh, it's back to sine wave country again, I guess. What is this little cogwheel thing following me around? Is that the uh, Flappy Bird? Oh, wait, it said go back. Go immediately back after I get to the horses. Okay. So that must mean... Oh, shit, did I miss a trick? Look, guys, I really wanted to do it. All of the Mountain King. I'm just gonna keep going around in a circle until I see the horsey horsies again. Which is evidently not happening. Okay, so I guess I'll, I'll make a stop at the Hall of the Mountain King. Wagner would be proud. Act 3, Scene 4. Hall of the Mountain King. Okay. Well, hello, Johnny. Time to cut him loose, ma'am. Junebug, who apparently followed us. Oh, she followed us on the fucking... Oh, that was the little cogwheel thing. Okay, nice. Can we lose those guys already? Uh, you bored? Nah, it's a slow night anyway. I'm happy just tacking along, says Johnny, oblivious to what the hell is going on. Bridge. The bridge ends abruptly, crumbling in despair. Maybe we should get the fuck off it then. There's a boardwalk. 
Let's go to the boardwalk. Oh, Amy! Amy! What the hell? What? Oh, it's triangles within triangles down there. Shifting, intersecting, overlaying. Isn't it romantic? Romantic or weird, but yeah. Let's see. And she says to Shannon, You're here to steal back the love of a boy you once knew, when you were too young to recognize the movements of the heart. Sway ye, sway ye, sway ye. And to Conway, you're escorting her, pretending to have her interests at heart, while really just wanting to make your goddamn delivery. And Junebug, really, you're a pain in my ass. You're in love with the young woman as well, so you've agreed to help him conspire to win her affections, but it's just a ploy to set him up for embarrassment and diminish him out of the picture. Wait, what? Shannon can go, what are you talking about? Or Junebug can go, eh, I'm into it. <laughs> I just want to see where that one goes, really. Well, maybe I still have the knack, says Amy. I used to be really good at this. I had 11 novels published from the billionaire's bidding to fields of longing. Real hot, bodice-ripping stuff, you know? Ew. I miss those days in my Lexington studio apartment, just me and my thesaurus steaming up the windows. You know, authors who really have to look up a thesaurus just to get through a sentence. I know, I used to be one. Well, author is a, kind of a stretch. Anyway, Conway asked, why did you stop writing? Mainly because I was relying on my thesaurus. Or Shannon to Ezra can go, I'm not sure you should be listening to this kid. No, nope, the kid needs to learn some real life stuff. Why did you stop writing? Ezra go, I missed. I, m damn you game. Okay, Ezra is not listening. Screw it. But of course it couldn't last, says Amy wistfully. You know, suddenly it was all computers everywhere you went. I thought I might be able to do something with that. Inject a little libido into those ugly beige boxes. <laughs> so I went back to the university and I studied computer-human interaction. And then I picked up Donald's research assistantship here as a tester. Debugging. Well, that was kind of a career shift. In my off hours, I played around with the doomed love story at the core of our little simulation. That seemed to amuse Donald, so I kept at it. I'm afraid I tinkered too much, made it too complex. Now, our work is never done. We don't even have to add any new functionality. The bugs just grow on their own. Too complex. Okay, you built Showdown. Donald puffs on a smoldering pipe while half mumbling, half singing an old country tune. Where the old green river runs through hills and caves not known to us, down to that sunless sea. He's high. Don't don't mind him. Oh, who are you? Uh, did we startle you? Or Junebug can ask, what's that song? Why, you want to plagiarize another one for your fucking live set? No, sorry, did we startle you? I might say you did. I thought you might be one of them... Oh, no, you can't be. We've been patching all their spy holes. We keep the lights dim and the motors running softly and reroute the smoke out through... Out through... The hole that makes sense? That is... What, what were we talking about? You were singing, or... Watch that computer over there, looks pretty vintage. Or Conway can go, we're a bit lost. We're actually not sure where the fuck we are. Okay, what's the what's with the computer? I'll I'll buy. It looks like a harmless old computer, doesn't it? Like a beat up mainframe exhumed from a university basement and left in this cave to rot or to flower. No, it's no ordinary computer. I've modified it extensively, and in some pretty experimental ways, believe you me. And that's to say nothing of the software, but you look like a technically minded sort of person, he says to Shannon. Tell me, do you know the effects of mold growth on diffused base transistor circuitry? Um, no, but I'll pretend to. Sounds like it would short circuit or the mold would burn up. 
Exactly, it burns, and oh, the sweet smoke that issues from it, but it also leaves a sticky residue to seep through the machine, forming new connections and creating new circuits. The computer is no longer the pure domain of language or mathematics, or but entropy. Really? I just thought it would break, because that's what my old computers used to do. Thwarted and feeble, we hammer on this derelict keyboard. My name is Reason, King of Kings. You could try and start with Hello World, but, you know, maybe I'm just old school. But we are mere tourists in the ruins. Our keystrokes echo off into the tunnels. Boundless and bare, the caves stretch far away. We are too late. Always too late. Okay. What? What? Did you say something? Um... Uh, at this point, I'm just interested in the mold computer. The mold computer. The... Oh, Xanadu! You've heard about it! Well, you just fucking told me. Perhaps you've read about it in a journal. It's been years since I published anything. Xanadu has evolved significantly since I explained its data structures in literary multitudes, hypertextual narrative as post-structural witness. Oh, so you're a fucking academic now. Okay. Evolved and then deteriorated. <sighs> he sighs dramatically and takes a puff from his pipe. I'm afraid you are too late, fellow hypertext enthusiasts. As the mold accumulated on the circuitry, Xanadu blossomed for a moment into something holy and enchanted. Then all the charm was broken. Do you have any idea what it's like to spend your life building something and then sit powerlessly as your work declines into ruin? Uh, no, wouldn't know what you think. Okay, Conway, I drive deliveries for a small antique shop and we're closing down. Shannon, I fix TVs, I'm about to lose the lease on my workshop. Ezra, my family disappeared. Julian and me don't know what to do. Junebug, not really. Junebug, you're not even in this conversation. Go the fuck away. Okay, Conway. Ah, uh, shuffling around the dusty ghosts of antiquity. Well, I have my own ghosts, and I keep them in there. I don't know what he's pointing at, but... In Xanadu. Okay, he's pointing it at the computer. It's running on that glorious, dusty machine. Take a look if you like. Too late to do anything but smoke and reminisce anyway. Far too late to do anything. Baffling control panels are sheltered from the elements with a worn tarp. A closet-sized wall of knobs and wires looms behind the machine, humming faintly. An electric typewriter is the only is the only easily recognizable component. Okay, let's uh, mess with it. How do you think we get it started? This old thing? Maybe there's a hand crank around. Oh, oh, it has a run key. Oh, it's a Commodore 64. Cool. Act 3, Scene 5. Messing with Xanadu. Ooh, this is heating up, isn't it? Oh dear god! Ardo. Uh, making a hell of a lot of sense there, Xanadu. There's a house. There's a... Oh god, everything's unraveling. I'm very sorry, how do I turn you on? Holy shit! Whoa, you're staring the du... Zapahamda what a da Ha! Ah, this thing is in rough shape. Wow. <laughs> Try blowing on it! Okay. Nope, that does jack shit. Do these switches do anything? Conway just flips whatever. Splop blop blah blah hop da da that is Okay, that is <laughs> worse, says Shannon, helpfully. Try typing help. It looks kind of like a house. Type house. Junebug, that may have been the first time you've ever contributed something positive to this experience. Okay, let's do the house thing. House. Xanadu responds with complete and utter weirdness. And then mercifully shuts up. In bleed out. In bleed... I bled quit. I... What? I didn't catch that. Okay, he's freaking out. You are in but w everywhere. East, west. L remove computer carrying their backs and Lula. Oh, it's some conversation. 
Time for some percussive maintenance. Junebug, you stay the fuck away from it. Did it say Lula? Conway types in Lula. Junebug's first instinct is just bash it over the fucking head. I've got the machine and the... This is this is some conversation from way back, like uh, like the one in the uh, Museum of Dwellings. I'm, I'm guessing. Also, the sound is really loud, so please pardon me if I'm shouting. Uh, transcribe. I can I can't read this. If if any of you can, please you know let me know. That says Pirit. That's about all I know. You God, how are you holding? Damn, I can't tell what she's saying. Oh, I have a portable degausser with me. Old systems like this can build up a remnant magnetic field that sort of warps everything along whatever pattern it's settled into, you know? The degausser clears that up by suddenly shaking the magnetic field around until it's- Yeah, 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 just go ahead and fucking do it! That's how I like to think of it, like shaking a snow globe. Haha, ha, worth a shot. Let's go! Okay, so I just hit this and... Everything sort of went quiet. Hall of the Mountain Gink. Well, you're close. I'm, I'm just gonna hit this a couple of times. Xanadu did not seem to appreciate that. Well, okay. Am I supposed to do it at just the right moment? Press any key to quit. Junebug goes, this is a lost cause. What a piece of junk. Oh, d d don't give up yet. Did we just turn it off? Act 3, scene 6. A Hall of the Mountain King. Okay. What? Okay, did that accomplish anything? Bizarre. And what was that about Lula? Maybe Donald knows how to clear it up a bit. Okay, so... Next episode, let's go have a chat with uh, Donald and see just what in the hell was up with that. Um, so, um, yeah, can't wait to finally see what's going on because, um, you know, something has to be explained at some point. So, uh, uh, thank you guys so much for uh, watching this episode. Uh, please uh, like, subscribe, do whatever you kids do, but uh, do leave me a comment. I love the comments, as you well know at this point. Um, so, uh, anyway, I will see you back for more uh, Kentucky Fried Zero around the crew.